So one of the most powerful nations in this entire map, Byzantium decided to go into a pretty big war against like kind of a medium powered Rome. Uh, Rome had a lot of units. I, I know that obviously Rome can't keep up with Theodora. The problem was that we wanted to see exactly how much Byzantium was gonna lose in this war. Uh, she also declared a separate war against Bulgaria. She's spreading her troops thin. Uh, I know that she could still be able to, to manage this all. Uh, the thing is, what is Russia thinking and what are the Hittites thinking as Byzantium kind of grows weaker and weaker in terms of military? And honestly, I think I'm going to go on the record and say this. Um, I think in terms of Civ Five AI only battles that I've ever done, I think this is my number one. I think that this is definitely my number one. This has been so interesting. There's so many great powers all throughout the map, and it's been pretty even all over the place. Lots of exciting wars. The AI have certainly, it's been aggressive. I, I think that we have finally figured it out. I think that's that the aggressive AI and the smarter AI mods, uh, those make a big, big difference. Um, and and I, I love it, as well as the number of civs that we included. I think that it helped having a lot of mods and a lot of nations all involved. Uh, I think that the, the messing around with the map also helped too, uh, because the lack of colonization and the colonization that still is, is kind of still going on has made it better too. Uh, some of these nations would have been too powerful if Carthage just grabbed all this stuff in the Sahara. And uh, just like all those factors, I think, really came into play. I, I think this is my favorite AI-only campaign. I think, I think it is. It is, and uh, I can't wait to test this formula out in, in other maps for the future, and uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm extremely, extremely excited. So anyways, here's Byzantium. Uh, it looks like they're going to pick up two Roman cities at least, like right now. We'll have to see how they go, how, how, their, how their siege goes against the Bulgarian capital. And then they're going to go after Sicily here. So let's go to the next turn. We also have Poland. So the other two minor, no, not even minor, big, big wars that are going on is Poland versus Norway. That's a big one. Uh, Norway is going to be somewhat prepared. This is really good for Scotland because now they don't have to worry about defending uh, these two cities in, in Scandinavia. And uh, that's because Scotland is, is doing a pretty big push for London right now. Uh, this is going to be tough because those Ship of the Lines all have ranged attacks and they're going to be able to do some damage to the uh, Scottish land force forces that are going after London. But we'll see. And also, are the Celts going to get involved? Whenever there's a British Isle War... I, I I always consider, like, what is that third nation going to do? It's always been, like, you know, 1v1 and then one person left out. And that one person left out could always make a big difference. Rome versus uh, England. England declared a separate war against Rome. And remember, um, England has not even have, oh, but they probably don't have open borders through Switzerland territory. So that, that doesn't mean much. I wonder if Carthage is going to get involved against Rome. I wouldn't be surprised, but it might be too late. Byzantium might have already done most of their damage. Okay, we'll check in on a London for now uh, later, but I want to see what happens here. Oh, wow, so nothing so far. They're going to probably have to take one more turn, but Rome is down to only a handful of troops. Uh, but there's going to be another big battle because these Roman troops were going after the Bulgarian capital. Ooh, they really have spread themselves thin. Look at these. There's a lot of troops here, which they don't need this much. Russia and Hungary teaming up against the final Ottoman city. Remember, the Sumer are still at war with the Ottomans, but nothing happening there. Uh, we were considering, we were kind of trying to figure out what Russia was thinking, uh, being in German territory, but I don't think anything. Frankfurt seems like it's going to be safe. Big old battle going to be going on in the Baltic Sea between Poland and Norway. Uh, let's see how Scotland's doing. All right, well, London's already at 75% health. That's a pretty big deal. That is a pretty big deal. Lots of nations going after England right now for some reason. The Goths and, and Sumer, but that doesn't mean much. That, that's not really, that's, yeah, that's nothing. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, so we've got to look at a lot of different points in the map. Ramsey's launching a sneak attack. Oh, gosh, now Egypt getting involved in something uh, in something else. What is that? What could that be against? Theodora secretly plotting against the Goths. Okay, that's fine. You can plot against them. Do not start another war, Byzantium. Okay, so that was Egypt uh, trying to go after England now. England must have lost a lot. They haven't lost that much, but I know Scotland has been destroying units, uh, clearly. Now, I want to see if, if Spain joins in, that's going to be important, or or Askia uh, of Songhai, because Nottingham is here. That'd be a good pickup for either Spain or, or anybody, actually, Carthage, anyone that's got uh, territory in North Africa. Let's see if any wars, other wars break out. Scotland seems to be doing pretty good. Oh, boom, there it is, Songhai. So they'll be going after Nottingham. They have to send a lot of their units through the uh, Sahara. They need to be careful of that. Boom, Byzantium captured two cities. And they're going after their third. Uh, they've kind of locked down the Roman naval units to the Adriatic Sea. There goes Spain. All right. So Spain and England. Uh, it's going to be a race for Nottingham. 
to take away that English colony in North Africa. Poland, I don't think, will do much. Poland's dealing with a pretty big foe in the Baltic Sea. How about Bulgaria's capital? They'll grab this soon. Is there, is there a battleship around this region? No. A battleship would have helped out a lot. But the land units will do, I think, their, their job. Oh my gosh, Byzantium. You've got, like, no units defending Istanbul. Or anything for that matter. Anything in the in the east. That is super scary. Very scary. And Russia is retreating. It looks like they, they were considering maybe a war with Germany. And maybe they saw Byzantium losing more and more troops. Uh, Sweden has not given open borders through uh, to Poland. So so Norway. But, but they have given it to Norway. Hmm. Anything else that's going down? That's a big one. Hittites always process last. We have to. We always have to see what they're what they're, what they're thinking. Theodora also plotting against the Sumer. Uh, yeah. So Denmark's done with Frankfurt. Germany's gonna stay alive. Uh, Germany, you got so lucky, so lucky. Oh my gosh, London is in the yellow. But Scotland has retreated a few troops to go after York. That's bad. There. That's very very bad. Scotland also has uh, open borders through the Netherlands. I don't know why they're not sending over more of their, their naval units to the English Channel. I mean, maybe they don't want to fight all the ship of the lines? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's check on Nottingham soon, but I, I, I'm, I'm shocked that... I didn't think that they were going to get London this low in, in, in health. I really... I, I, I didn't think that was a possibility, to be honest. I thought that fit, with all these ship of the lines, they'd be fine. You know what I mean? They'd both do damage. I and mean, Scotland's already done enough damage. They've already forced a lot of the nations to go to war with England. Nobody's super big, but, you know, England might certainly lose their colony in North Africa. Rome and Bulgaria and Iceland and Bulgaria have peaced out. Uh, Milan has denounced Germany. Celts, what are you going to do? I mean, I know the Celts don't have much, but if they were to also join in against England, which that's where kind of the world seems to be shifting towards, then, yeah, they'd be able to help out with a few of those artillery units to attack York, possibly. Maybe. Now, I believe Scotland has their turn process last, or not last, but among the, the last turns to process. There it is. Let's watch here and see what happens. Oh, my gosh. York is already in the red. So they're going to take over York, it looks like, for sure. Yeah, they're going to take over York for sure. London might survive for a little bit longer. But even if even if London falls, I think they might get it back. Obviously, with these naval units, I think that I I think Elizabeth has still naval superiority, but I don't know. And, and look at this. So instead of going through Netherlands territory, which I think they have open borders, they're actually going to go around. They have open borders through the Celts, so that might not it might not take as long as we're thinking. Look at this. There's a Scottish ship of the line. Look at that. I don't know when they took that. They must have taken that probably the first Scottish English war, more than likely. Let's check in on Byzantium. Uh, all right, things have definitely slowed down. How about for Bulgaria's capital? It's getting close. It's getting close, but that's also pretty slow too. Let's check on the Baltic Sea. Poland seems to be winning this. They do seem to be winning this. But that, I think it might end in a stalemate. I'm not sure. Although Scott, uh, Poland still has a lot of land units they can send over. All right, let's kind of pay attention here. Here comes Scotland's turn coming up. Well, let's check Byzantium first. What does Byzantium do? Retreat, don't... Well, I guess they're going to grab Sicily. And Bulgaria's capital is going to be next. So we might see two cities. Oh my gosh, look at these submarines. These uh, Byzantine submarines have just completely wiped out everything Rome had in the Adriatic Sea. And they're going to. They're just, boom, going in there just like warriors. Yeah, so this city is going to fall. It looks like. Yeah, I think it will. Because Byzantium pro uh, processes before Bulgaria's. And then we have Sicily, I think, falling potentially, if they get this destroyer unit in there, then yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, yeah, we knew that Theodora was going to get a whole bunch of new land, but will she be able to keep it? Will she be able to have others avoid the war, uh, avoid a potential war with her? I don't know. The good thing is she doesn't, there goes York, boom, and now Scotland can completely focus in on London. Oh my goodness. I would have never thought this was going to happen. And also, yeah, I mean, like like I said, Scotland, Scotland's now using, they're going to, I don't see them holding on to London that long until they get their naval units down here. They've got to actually get their naval units down here uh, to, and, and fight off the massive English fleet in the English Channel. 
so we'll see. I, I think that these guys are going to do a lot of damage to the Scottish uh, military right now. The ship of the lines and everything that's ranged. I wouldn't be surprised. Two or three units here are probably going to be killed by Scotland. That's fine, though, because they, they freed up their... Their their siege of York actually yeah they yeah there was quite a few units that were destroyed, but it doesn't matter I I don't think that was enough. You've got an artillery attack here, you've got certainly a few melee attacks. Uh, if there's a road, so it's not a railroad, they won't be able to move it super fast. Let's see if Byzantium steals anything away. Boom and Bulgaria is dead. They are gone. Sicily hasn't fallen just yet. The Celts have denounced France. It's a big pickup there. But now you have to be more worried about the Goths. Because the Goths have been eyeing that city for a while. Yeah, so it looks like though they're going to grab Sicily soon. And uh, let's hope for their sake that they stop after that. And Because Rome is, Rome is done. You keep taking things over, you're going to lose too much. You're going to lose way too much. Alright, and here we go. Let's see what happens. Will the English capital fall? This would probably be some of the biggest news we've seen. I mean, we've, we, this, this video itself has been like a huge, huge. We talked about it last video. I think we talked about it last video. Talking about how medium powers, even like really good power. Boom, there it goes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Medium powers would begin to fall around the turn, like, you know, around the 400s. And they have. They seriously have. Now, uh, like I said, I think they're going to take this back, right? Yes, they should. they should be able to take it back. Um, destroying London's population, though, in the process. Obviously, Scotland will recapture that after England grabs it. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't think they're going to be able to hold on to it, which means that England's going to be a just a completely collapsed empire. You've got Brussels here, which will probably ultimately be declared war uh, by the Netherlands will try to grab it or France will try to grab it. Braga's, you know, in the open, maybe Spain or even maybe Switzerland. Uh, and then I think it's only a matter of time. Yeah, Nottingham's about to fall any, t any second now. Because Spain is going hard. Let's see what happens in the World Congress, too. All right. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? I, I didn't think it was going to be like that. I didn't think Scotland would, was going to go through, like, just a landslide uh, in the British Isles. That is crazy. And this is given Scotland. I mean, Scotland was powerful before, but now they're really, really strong. Oh, my gosh. They're really strong. And did they not take it back? <gasps> oh, my goodness. England did not take it back. They got close. They'll probably take it back next time. Although it depends on how much Scotland destroys here. And you're giving more time for Scotland to destroy the English fleet. I mean, once this fleet gets destroyed, England has no power. Because they're going to be completely separated. And remember, they're going to be down to just Braga and Brussels because Nottingham will fall uh, definitely. And boom, there goes Sicily. I, I know it's not technically Sicily. It's like because it's not an island in this map, but it, it is. It is. It's pretty much Sicily. That's why I refer to it as that. Um, Byzantium is focused in on their Roman front. And I would, oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Is Rome going to really, or I think Byzantium might be just trying to take over Rome completely. And that scares me because that's really, that's ballsy. It looks like they're not going to stop though. It really doesn't look like they're going to stop. Because once they grab this city here, then Antium and Rome would would be nothing. Rome is, uh, you know, Rome's capital. They've got no, almost nothing defending it. I'm surprised that Carthage actually hasn't joined in. I'm waiting for them to. They'll probably wait until maybe the Byzantium the Byzantium Empire is done. Maybe potentially. I, I don't. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, that was big. Uh, copper was banned, and then historical landmarks were passed. Ooh, jeez. Oh, geez. What are the Hittites doing? Hittites still in Russian lands. Still not sure what that is, what's going on there. Seems like Rome, or I'm sorry, Russia isn't really trying much here. Let's check in on the Baltic Sea. So Poland won. Poland clearly won the naval ba uh, battles that were going down here. Did they grab it back? England still didn't grab their capital back. Oh, geez. Yep, that's bad. Um, so, but I don't know if they're going to be able to take over Stockholm. It seems like Norway lost a lot of land units. I think they had a lot of things embarked, which was a problem. Netherlands and Songhai have pieced out. Yep, there it goes. London is still around. That's the thing, is that there are, they're landing land troops. They're landing, you know, Great War Infantry. Uh, but if they had a naval, if they had something, a melee naval unit, then that would have helped them a lot here. But they don't. As well as they don't have open borders with the Netherlands, and that's that's been a problem too. Which I, I, I've, I have no idea why Scotland decided to go around Ireland uh, to send over their fleets. Look at that. They are. Jeez. I don't know why, but whatever. 
Uh, they did manage to get a few units over here, so there's going to be some battles going on in the English Channel, and that'll be the final blow. Uh, I don't think Scotland's going to go after anything. Actually, you know what? Scotland could take over Braga here. They might with this fleet. Surprised the Celts haven't been involved. Uh, you know what? I, I think they might take it over next time. Because this Great War of Tree, boom. Go in there. A few attacks here and there. We'll see. Oh, Poland and Norway. They've pieced out. Okay. Well, that's one less like big thing to watch out for. That's good. I, I wasn't really paying attention to that war much anyways, and I figured that's why. I figured there was not really going to be much of a result. Theodore is now playing against Dido. This is scaring me. Again, uh, for the sake of the campaign to have a close game, Byzantium, like, being this aggressive scares me. And, and to see stuff like that, like, don't be playing against Carthage right now. Leave Carthage alone. Please leave Carthage alone. Uh, leave everyone alone. You know, I, I, don't, I don't even, I wouldn't even suggest going after Rome here. It would be really interesting seeing Byzantium take back, like, Western Rome, you know, like, traditional Rome. Um, that would be pretty fascinating to watch. I mean, that's kind of what they've been doing. But uh, this would really be it if they went after Rome's capital. I mean, they do have a lot of units still. I will give them that. They still have a lot of units. We'll have to check the, uh, probably the info addicts in the next video. Hungary, Carthage, going after Milan. Uh, Carthage might be able to do something there. Ooh, and there goes the Netherlands, just like I thought. They're going to try to take Brussels. Uh, pretty big pickup for the Netherlands if they were to pick this up. And it's not, I'm surprised Nottingham hasn't fallen yet. Oh, it will. Next turn, that will fall. And then Braga will probably be under siege from all these Scottish troops. I mean, we might see Elizabeth fall completely. She might be dead out of this game completely. Who would have thought we've had just countless unsuccessful games by whoever starts off just north of England? The Celts have always started off there. Maybe it's just the Celtic AI. Because once you remove the Celtic AI, I mean, Scotland has just done so good in this campaign. It's been amazing. It is literally just, it's been incredible. I've, I can't believe it. Boom. There it goes. England's got no shot of taking back London, which is huge that Scotland kept a hold of England or kept a hold of London right when they took it the first time because this this city's big with 16 population. This is big and the resistance is only for one more turn. How did that how did they manage to do that? How did they manage to keep so much of the population still in London and only the resistance being about, you know, it was only like 3 or 4 turns. That's incredible. Is that something with ideologies? I'm not sure. What's Iceland doing here too? Huh. Um no, this is this is insane. And yeah, there goes Braga. Um, we we might definitely see Elizabeth being completely destroyed here. Uh, okay, and looks like I think Byzantium will manage to to take over the southern part of the Italian peninsula with that city there. Oh, look at that! Scotland's even helping out the Netherlands too. I didn't think they would. So for Scotland's sake, I hope they don't take this city because. Brussels is not a good city to have. You don't want to go into that territory. Although they won't have to worry about England as much. So, yeah. But then you're spreading yourself thin. I mean, you got lucky that Poland's really, you know, really messed up the their, their Norwegian uh, Navy. As well as, you know, their their troops. That was very, very lucky of Scotland. But, uh, yeah, they should definitely send a thank you card over. The Celts have decided to join in against the uh, against England. Boom, Spain captured Nottingham. Big pickup for Spain there. Ooh, just in time too because Sunghai was going after it. They were definitely going after it. Sumer and Switzerland going after it. Uh, Braga, where? what's going on here? <gasps> oh, that was Scotland declaring war in uh, Denmark. Why did you do that? You better be careful, dude. You better be careful. The Atites getting involved with Sumer. That's really good for Byzantium. And yeah, pretty much England's down to about two ships. Oh, man, oh, man. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. This was such a huge video. Oh, jeez. Wow. Anyways, guys, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Uh, this, this, has, this is going to have a big impact on the remaining part of the game. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.